I'm here with Colin Watson from Boss Racing, who is not your average track day and car hire company. No, we're not your average track day and car oh, hire what? company. We hire out race cars. It's, we actually race you on the Sunday and you can hire them on the Monday. Um, it's a bit different than your, your average road catering, so it's a bit more full on, a bit more fun, a bit more serious. Um, but we have slower cars. Um, we've got a mixture of cars to suit everybody, really. You've got a lot of cars here today. Tell us what you have on show and, and why they're here. Um, we've got on show is um, the Works race car. Um, that's a fully loaded Caterham, 300 horsepower, paddle shift. Um, it's a bit of a one-off at the moment, that one. This is the one that's covered in trophies. Uh, not, uh, not done too badly then? No, not too bad. No, we've done quite well this year, actually, which is good. Um, the other cars... Oh, them ones. Um, they're more, that's a, the race car, the number 94, mm -hmm. um, the 95 is um, a wider, it's called an SV, it's a little bit wider, a little bit um, longer for the, the bigger chap or the bigger lady to have, to have a drive. Um, these are about 170 horsepower and the other car's about 220 horsepower with sequential gearbox. Um, so they're pretty, um, pretty quick little things, they only weigh sort of 500 kilo, so they're, they're good fun. So how can people go about getting behind the wheel of one of these then? Um, we're on Facebook or Instagram or just give us a call. What's the benefit of being here at Motorsport Days? Um, we're going to just put the name out there more because um, people just get boss racing in their head and hopefully just remember it all the time yeah. and, and give us a call. Um, we've got a website, we get quite a bit um, from international people coming over. Um, I've got a track day at Brands on the 11th with two fellas from Switzerland coming over. Uh, they want two cars, yeah, which is good. Um, it's just because we, we promote, um, you can have a go over a race car. What do you aim to get out of this weekend? Um, well, to be dry would be nice, but I don't think we're going to be dry. Um, it's just, yeah, to get the name out there. And we're doing, um, we've got a, a charity, um, UK Youth. Okay. So, um, Let's go and have a look at that. Tell us more about that then. Uh, ben suggested um, um, we've got a charity on board. And so we're having this, so we're going to, take people out in the car for a small donation. And what's UK Youth? Um, it's just to promote um, the, the youth in the country. Mm -hmm. um, it's all, all new to us and came along this morning, um, but we, we're trying to help them out and, and get as much as we can. So it's just, um, whoever wants to come along and, and donate a five, a tenner, a twenty, just for a couple of laps in the car. Good, make sure you come and do that. Um, you boys been out on track already this morning? It doesn't look like it. I'm still dry. You, yeah, that's true. They were in the queue for breakfast a minute ago and we had to go and drag them by the skin of their teeth. Um, hopefully this afternoon it might be drier and we can go out on track. These are great out on track in the wet, surely. They are good fun. Yeah. I mean, as you can see from the video, this is from Dijon um, about four weeks ago, okay. which was soaking wet, we, which we won both races, I might say. Um, but they are good fun. They're good fun in the dry as well. You know, yeah. they're just a great car to, you know, a great car for the for the money they cost and for the, the amount of fun you can get out of them compared to like a Porsche or you know something like that. It's just um, well worth it. Well worth it. So give they're great fun even just being a passenger in, aren't they? And I absolutely love them. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah, and now's your chance to ever go as a passenger. Yes, please. What time can I get behind the wheel? <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be driving it. <laughs> that can be sorted. Good. All right. Well, I hope this weekend is successful for you. So Thank you we. very much, Colin. No problem. Thanks a lot. Thanks. So you can come down, have a chat to Colin Watson as well. Let's have a look. Is ah Hugh's there? Should we have a chat to Hugh while we can? From uh, hello. We're just rudely interrupting no your conversation from the. Classic Sports Car Club. Well, you don't have to de-rope for me, I Hugh. I don't want to be uh, wearing that. <laughs> All that. What's wrong? That's very smart, very it's dapper. Not, Tweed. Not, not my, uh, my office stuff. So, right. hello. Hello, how are you? Nice to see you again. You? This is your second time here. Um, why are you back? 
Well, we find this is a really great place, obviously, to be uh, to bring out our cars that people can try. Unlike the other shows, shows which are all static, this one allows you to take cars out and uh, be driven in a car that you might want to have a go in. When it's just such a unique opportunity, isn't it? Exactly. And um, we've got some of our cars here, the people who race with us. We've got the JEC who race with us. We've got Boss who come out in our Magnificent 7s. And we've got some cars here, the Minis, which come out of a Turbo Tin Top series. Yeah. And we've got our um, uh, RX-8, which we brought out last year, for, uh, for drivers, a very cost-effective uh, way of going out racing in a, what is practically a standard car, so you don't have to pay a lot of money to prepare the car and keep the car on the track. Behind me, these two Minis are very, very unique. Am I right in thinking that this is the only Mini Clubman, the only racing Mini Clubman in the world? I, I'm not in the world, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure, certain it's the only one that's racing in the UK at the moment. Yes, 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 definitely. So. Mega. Um, will you be behind the wheel? Uh, not this season, but, uh, uh, but probably next. But uh, not here. I'm not allowed to race with the Classic Sports Car Club because it wouldn't be fair. Um, they'd all be trying to have a big target on me, I think. So uh, they'd all want to beat me. So I have to go with another club, unfortunately. But I will be out on track, but uh, not with the CSCC. Good. If you can sum up Motorsport Days in a few sentences, what would it be? Ooh, put me on the spot for that one, I would say. Um, um, unique. Um, interactive and um, a great thing for club motorsport i'd say what he said thank you very much hugh let's have a little look around these minis while we're here because uh, we can also find out a little bit more about them you just said about the minis tell us yes. more so this mini clubman here it's the only racing mini clubman in the world yeah i was true i was right yeah, yeah it's never been done uh, mini challenge germany made one okay. but they never raced it they used it as a safety car um, so it's running 1.6 litre turbo engine, around 280 horsepower. This one behind us, um, it's the R53 shape Mini, which is the supercharged one. So it's running around about 240 horsepower, um, built by Kevin Fulbrook, who's in the car now. Um, and he built both of these. Um, so yes, a little bit different to have a Clubman out. Um, and it's great for, for, for Mini as well, because it makes people more aware yeah. that you can race anything. Um, I love the minis as well. So Kevin's going out now then, yes. is he? Yeah, Kevin's going out now. Um, Keith is it who owns and races this car, um, the clubman behind you. He's just in his briefing at the minute, so he may miss this session. Oh, he may be able to go back out again. So how long are the sessions? Like, how many times are you boys going to be able to get out in these? So we'll be out, I think, a good three, four times during the course of the day. I think the sessions are about 15, 20 minutes. Um, we go out with, with the other cars that we're with, with the Spl Classic Sports Car Club. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and it's a great way of getting people introduced of what the club does um, because they literally cater for everything very nice too well we will uh, keep moving on thank Thanks you very much we'll come and see you again shortly